She might GTA chums, the Velum 5 seaters on the special discounts, uh, nearly 700 grand. For that money, you could nearly buy the Sea Breeze. So, that would have to be the plane of this week. However, we're going to look at the Velum today. This is more of a collector's kind of plane. Um, Performance-wise, yeah, it's it's a bit of a mix, a bit of a mix. Um, so I'm going to show you modifications, what you can do to it, um, and it's basically colouring it in like a like a child, really. <laughs> metallic. We're going to go for a metallic paint, shall we? Why not? Um, knock yourself out, eh? Metallic on top, and we're going to go for something like a. I think I've decided a green already. Um, going to get rid of the ginger colour, which is excellent, you know. Oh, that's a nice green, bright green maybe. Um, lime green. You know what? I maybe I prefer bright green. Oh, gasoline green. Oh, wow. I've just made something amazing, haven't I? You go gasoline green, right? And then the secondary colour. Uh, we want a matte one, do we? To contrast it? don't know. Um, I like the black. That's what I was gonna, planning on doing with the um, the lime green. But maybe not, maybe a grey. I mean, I like the ginger colour, but it's probably a bit too too much. Foliage green. See, dark earth, that's like a grey. Or you can go wild in the aisles. Oh, sorry, let's go wild in the aisles, come on. You only live once. Oh, livery. <laughs> um, what's that do? It changes the tail number. It's not a real livery, there you go. Happy days. Um, stock livery, livery. So I changed it for some reason. I don't know why. Um, just for the sake of it, I think. Okay, let's um, let's exit the hangar. Let's get out and show you what it's all about performance-wise. I've already wasted loads of time. Well, that livery is quite not livery. That colour is quite nice. Um, this thing's not the fastest of planes, but you could just take off like this. There you go. You don't need a runway. Um, okay, so. It's not exactly a stunt plane. It's not really what you're going to be looking for for that kind of business. Um, it's quite steady as long as you're in a, you've got um, wings level and steady flight. Um, it's not super fast either. Whoa, bit of turbulence there. What is that all about? One thing you want to bear in mind is don't do this at low level. Don't do a barrel roll at low level. Watch my other video and you'll see why. Maybe I'll show you at the end of this video. <laughs> I'll see how many barrel rolls at low level I can manage without crashing. Um, landing, so it should be okay landing. Maybe we'll try a landing. Maybe not. Um, internal view. Um, so I think this is based on a Piper PA46 from a... Well, that's what it looks like. Um, and yeah, internals, you get all, everything you might expect in a plane. Overall, looks-wise, it's a great-looking plane, I think. I do think it's good, but it, that massive engine looks like it's faster than it actually is, which is a shame, because um, these planes, I think, were in um, Air America, and it said about how powerful they are. They're too powerful for US, for, for US regulation, but that's not really the case with this plane. I mean, what's our airspeed? Not much, probably. Altitude, a thousand, airspeed. What's that, 130? Okay, let's change the view and let's gear down and see if we can do a landing on the beach. I mean, we can do a landing on the beach, but will we get it back up again? Do a touch and go, maybe. Okay. We landed it and then we're back up again. I was tempted to do a barrel roll. That's what I normally do with every aircraft, but it won't do it. Um, what else? Let's try some confi confined spaces, shall we? Gear down. We're going to try and touch down in this section here if we can. Okay, let's see if we can get it at the junction, at the junction. Whoa, there we go. Fine, it's fine, it's fine, everyone. Just get it on my cars. So you can land it, land it in a reasonably confined space, it's not that bad. Just watch for the, out for the lampposts. Um, it's really slow to pull away though, the acceleration's really slow with the takeoff, just bear that in mind. If you're facing a, a hill, you're going to smash into the hill. Right, let's try and go vertical up against this um, Arcadius building. See what happens. Alright, that's not bad, is it? That is not bad. We're stalling now. Okay. 
like I say, it's a good looking plane, but performance wise, I think it's lacking. It'll get you across the map. You can fit five people in it. I mean, if that's a bonus, if that's something you're looking for, a five seater. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's it's culturally significant because it's in a lot of the in the heists, um, that prison break heist. It's in that one. It's also in the um, the famous Keo Perico heist. So for that reason, you might want to purchase one. Um, just in case you miss flying it during the setups. <laughs> um, but most people probably won't, but I think it's more for collectors who want to reminisce about the Vellum. So maybe a few barrel rolls at low level and see how long we last. And but overall, if you've enjoyed it so far, don't forget to hit that like button and the subscribe as well for future content. This is a classic aircraft, isn't it? It's a classic GTA aircraft. And you can do low-level barrel, mo barrel rolls once you're up to speed, as you can tell there. Oh dear, this is not going to go well. <laughs> I'm doing all right, you know, it's doing fine. Every time I'm barrel rolling, I'm losing some energy. But no way, I managed it. That's not bad, is it? Don't really want to crash here. Yeah, it's basically, if you're about to take off, you take off, and as you're gathering a bit of speed, don't do a barrel roll at that point. That's what I tend to do in every aircraft. So let's recreate it. So if I put my gears down and land in this little area, I'm going to do it for you. Just to finish the, uh, this... Um Actually, no, what I could do... Whoa, was that a vellum behind us? Come on. We can try missile resistance, maybe. No, that's boring, isn't it? Come on, do the barrel roll. Okay, we're going to do the barrel roll as we take off. So we've taken off, gears up. So normally you're okay to do a barrel roll. Uh, no, see, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, that's pretty damn good. That's as good as it's going to get. That's as good as a, bar a low level takeoff barrel roll is going to get in this aircraft. So anyway, I hope you have enjoyed that, I really do. I'm going to land it with sans gears, we're going to do a belly up belly down and it's landed that's how you land a plane everybody thank you very much for watching good exit <laughs>